Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. Looks like we've got a word problem. Let's go ahead and take a look. It says the new sandbox at Cooper Town Preschool is 10 feet wide, 8 feet long, and 2 and a half feet deep. How many cubic feet of sand will need to be ordered to fill the sandbox? Okay, so um, one thing I highly recommend when you are... um. Faced with a word problem, especially a geometry style word problem with some shapes going on, I suggest you sketch me a little picture. So what does a sandbox look like? Well, it looks like a three-dimensional box here. And it says this one is 10 feet wide and 8 feet long and 2 and a half feet deep. 2 and a half feet deep. And we want to know how many cubic feet of sand will need to be ordered to fill the sandbox. Now, Notice I just assumed when they didn't tell me that my box would be like a normal box shape. If they don't give you any information that would give you a clue that we're looking at something with round measurements like circles or circular or diameter or radius, they give us nothing like that. They just give us uh, width, length, and depth. Assume we're talking about a rectangular solid here, or also known as a rectangular prism. Um, and on the formula sheet, you're going to notice if you look at your GED formula sheet, we have a couple different formulas for a rectangular prism. In fact, we have one that gives surface area and one that gives volume. The hardest part to word problems is knowing when to use what. So let's go looking in our word problem for some clues here as to what to do. Notice that it says how many cubic feet. I'm looking for a three-dimensional measurement, cubic feet. Will it take um, of sand will need to be ordered to fill the sandbox. So I'm trying to fill this three dimensional shape. Okay, well, uh, surface area is a number of squares to cover a three dimensional shape, but volume, volume is the number of cubic units to fill. And so this is a volume problem, volume of a rectangular prism. So I'm going to start by writing down my volume of a rectangular prism formula. Again, I don't need to have this memorized. I do, luckily, I do this all day long. But you don't have to have it memorized. You can just look at your GED formula sheet and see that volume of a right or rectangular prism formula. And now I'll plug in my numbers. Uh, my length was 8 feet. My width was 10 feet. And my height was 2.5. Now, guys, you could put 2.5 here. Your GED calculator could handle it. But I'm so flippin' lazy, I don't even want to type fractions into my calculator. I am going to use the decimal of... of equivalent of two and a half. A half is like 50 cents or halfway through my digit system. Halfway through my digit system is the number five. So two and a half can be rewritten as 2.5. And now that you've gotten rid of all the letters on the right hand side, you can plug this entire thing into your GED calculator. Eight times 10 times 2.5. And again, you could have plugged in 8 times 10 times 2.5 in your calculator too. That would have just been trickier. You would need to know how to input mixed numbers. And I do get 200. 200 what? 200 cubic feet. If I find feet by feet by feet, a foot by foot by foot, that gives me cubic feet. Excellent. Okay, so final answer here. 200 cubic feet. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.